Hello, this is David from the Bookman in Orange, California, welcoming you to the this week's segment of Things Found in Old Books. And uh, I'm happy to say I have a nice little crop of things found that I'm going to share with you. Plus, one uh, person sent something in, so we get to share that as well. I'm very excited. So let's get started right away. Uh, first off, in this rather tattered old book that's an old western uh the thund the thunderer the thunderer by barrington i think i can't really read that anyway in this old book it doesn't match the card and I, what i found in the book was a business card like this now, I'm a big fan of finding business cards in books. I, I think they're really cool because they, a lot of times they're, they're of uh, businesses long, long gone and so forth. And so, but they always have a certain look. And I did a little research on this one. It's for Art S. Leach, Realtor. And now Art Leach Realtor, uh, I did a little research online and apparently they just kind of went out of business in 2018. So, uh, and he was kind of a big wig in the San Diego area realtor circles. He was the uh, the chairman of the board for a while. And uh, but the card belongs to a, a Bud Eminger, so he was a worker there for for uh, art. And the card opens up. It's a closed. It opens up. I guess you can set it on a table or something like that, you know. And uh, it tells you what he does here, uh, and then he has the different offices listed here. And uh, again, the phone numbers are all the, those early phone numbers with letters in the number, and they're pretty short, like W6175 is one of the phone numbers, W6175. And uh, from what I can tell, again, doing a little research, this is from 1955, so... Not spectacular, but again, I'm a big fan of the business card, so I'm, I want to share it with you because I just love finding business cards in books. So that's number one. Number two was this paperback. I was going through a box of paperbacks that someone brought in or left at our store. Uh, we get a lot of donations. And uh, so it's a book on Nino Cochise, The First Hundred Years, written by Kaye, C I Y E. Cochise. Now, I was almost going to throw this out. In fact, when I was lifting up the book to, to share today, the whole cover popped off. The thing is fairly bad shape. But on the inside of the cover that popped off is a signature of the authors, uh, C-I-Y-E, Sayi. I hope I'm doing it right, uh, the name, Sayi Cochise. Uh, signed it there on the inside of the cover of this of this paperback. By further inspection of the book, I found this envelope there. And it has, it has, the envelope obviously has a history that I can't quite follow. The gentleman here from Santa Ana, California, out here in, uh, near me, sent this to Chief Saeed Cochise in, in Arizona, to the Arizona uh, Sonora Museum. But it says not at this address and uh, send, return to sender. And it, uh, on the back, it's, it's post dated 1974. But inside the envelope that was apparently sent back is a picture of looking, uh, doing a certain, <laughs> there you go. That's a Sai Cochise sitting at a table with somebody. He's got a cigar. He's sitting. Sitting there looking very comfortable, and he has a big smile on his face. And uh, so I'm assuming the picture is also from the 1974 era. And so apparently either the guy was sending this to him to get signed, or somehow he got this and sent it back. I don't know. But there it is, the envelope, the picture, the signature on the book. And uh, I don't know how I'll preserve that or if anybody would be interested, I think. I like it. Anyway. Uh, next in line, I found in this book here, which is not, it's a, you know, it's a book, but it's, it's more of a, of an, of an annual for a college. And, uh, it's from, uh, the annual is signed 1895, Mount Holyoke College, which is in Massachusetts. 
and it's a it's an old annual. It's not the kind of annual that has a lot of pictures in it, as far as individual pictures, but it has pictures of uh, of groups and things like that. And here's like of a special interest to me is, is this picture of the banjo club. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, the reason why because in this uh, annual here uh, of the banjo club is this little program that was also in the in the uh, in the annual Mount Holyoke College Glee and Banjo Club Memorial Hall Wor Worcester May 4th 1897 it's a program to the banjo and glee club uh, performances in 1897 and uh, you know there's a list of the songs they're going to perform um, can't say that I recognize any of them but, uh, and then here's a member of the Glee Club and a member of, of the Banjo Club. And we saw, see a picture there of the Banjo Club. So apparently these players are in the picture. And well, what's, and, and there's an, an ad for uh, mandolins on the back, Eclipse mandolins. But what I find amazing about this particular program is that I, I, it, it seems, feels to me like it's been in the, the annual since 1897 i mean it's so pristine uns unsoiled uh not the edges are really crisp and tight and it's like it's like it's just been sitting there uh waiting to be discovered again and uh it's in beautiful shape you'd hardly even know it's from 1897 but uh, i felt that that was a a super i'd say a super duper find anyway and lastly for the things that i came across this is so really uh really interesting it's quite fascinating it's now this book here is a is the memorial life of william mckinley uh published after his uh assassination and uh, you know you see these kind of books a lot they, they printed them in the day of they have one for the titanic they have one for the johnston flood they i mean they read they, they they were sensationalist books at the time uh that were not sensationalist would they capitalize on a national tragedy or something like that and they would publish these books and so they do actually do show up quite often but they look very interesting and in this i found something i've never uh, ever come across it's, it's okay it's, it's a box of five cent cigars for five cents and what that means, according to this this little this little gugad here, is that what you do is you buy this booklet here for uh, uh, you buy it for uh, fifty cents. You buy the booklet and you get four coupons. And what you do is you sell a coupon to a friend. And once that friend fills it out and sends it in then they send you <laughs> another once it's confirmed that they've they've bought them and sent them in you get a five cent cigar box for five cents so i imagine there's a bunch of cigars in it and uh and they i'm sorry but the back part fell off and uh recently clumsy me uh and it has an order blank on the back for uh, are the brands of cigars that they that you can get and uh so it's kind of like a pyramid scheme a little ponzi scheme going on there so they want you to buy the coupons sell to your friends and then you get your product so you get the, now in this book here that i have all four coupons are intact so this gentleman didn't do his job he uh, just decided to hell with it i'll go to another store and buy a cigar <laughs> put it in the book and now it's mine anyway that's all i have for today however i would like to share uh uh, uh something found in used books uh, uh sent to me from a, a watcher here on this program and it was, came from lee lynn of ridge books in georgia and uh let me read what she wrote and i'll also uh, put up the pictures that she sent and uh we'll share it with you it says hi david i always enjoy things found in books 
but I had forgotten this gem until I had an order for the book today. A paperback copy of James Campbell's This is the Beat Generation, University of California, first paperback edition, 2001, with the, with the distinctive signature of Ferlinghetti, of your Lawrence Ferlinghetti, on the title page. And two sticky notes in his handwriting indicating errors in the book regarding city lights. And I suppose he should have known. Now, that is awesome. I really enjoy that. And uh, what a find that is, huh? So thanks again. I do appreciate it. And uh, if any of you have anything that you would like to share, I'd be, I'd be overjoyed to present it here on Things Found in Books. If you want to share those items, send them to oldbook at ebookman.com. That's oldbook at ebookman.com. Well, that's all I have for today. And this is David from the Bookman in Orange, California. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. And I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.